this quick video, we will talk about filters in SLT. So SLT we know, SAP landscape transformation and it is a middleware uh, between ECC and S4 HANA system which uh, helps us to enable the central finance replication of uh, data from ECC to S4 system. And also, it also SLT is used for non-SAP data replication. So in this series of uh, FAQ section, we have, this is the 14th video, as we are approaching more and more, we are getting, I'm getting more feedback, more videos are coming in. Please feel free to share your feedback over YouTube. So first question which I people ask is, and of course it is answer is available on internet as well. Can I add filters in SLT replication? So yes, you can add filters if you want to filter the table data, but also it is easy, not easy to understand what those filter means. Filters means if you say AUFK table, I'll give you a very basic example if, if from ECC world. You have AUFK table and from AUFK table, you say, okay, we have internal order data, you have order types, you have controlling area. Now in your scenario, you have four controlling areas in ECC system. And now you want to have replication enabled for one order type in one controlling area. So now you, you are filtering from out of four controlling area, you have to filter one controlling area and in one controlling area, you filter one order type. If you go to standard SLT, you have to, it will only, it can bring, it can automatically filter, you can configure uh, one controlling area. But what about one order type? It will simply bring everything. So to restrict the data, you put filter on order type. Of course, it has to be done in SLT. There is a little bit of standard coding available. You can change it yourself. There is no coding or programming uh, or ABAP ex expertise required. It's functional. So that level of filter can be applied. So it is important to understand that when filters are needed, you apply those filters in SLT or you do customizations in your source or sequencing system. What types of filters are, for what are the types of filter conditions? Event-based and field-based. I just gave you example. This was field-based example where you are filtering based on order types. You have a filter on order type field. Another is event-based. Event-based is you put a condition on particular event. If this is the, the replication document or if this is the controlling area and this is any particular condition, then you are triggering an event. So in that case, that's an event based or you are replicating a data like from one client to another client. You have in source, you have two clients, 100 and 200 and in CFIN you have 300 and 400. Now 100 needs to replicate to 300 and 200 needs to replicate to 400. In a standard SLT, it will not happen. So you have to put filters and tell system, I'll give, I'll show you the example of this particular filter as we move on in a couple of minutes. You, you can put this filter and you can direct the data to the right client. Any predefined filters ever provided by SAP? Yes, there are around 15 filters provided by SAP. Uh, as I gave you one example of client, this is standard SAP, standard filter, you, it is commented by SAP you can just change it. I'll show you that how it looks like. What are the steps? You can go to LTRC transaction and add filter in the relevant configuration. So of course, I will teach you how to do add the filters and how to configure SLT in another video. Uh, so the basic high level summary is if you go to LTRC transaction, which is a configuration for SLT, in that in we create the mass transfer ID and you activate the objects. Under each object, you can define those filters. How it looks like. So that's an example. If you see now, we have a example here. See, skip CFIN client. Event based rule. This is exactly what I told you. This is an event based filter. In a in table, it is putting if S4 HANA cloud is S4H underscore cloud is X. If it is gas value client system, and if the client is hundred, skip transaction. And if client is 110, skip transaction. So we are saying for these two, you skip the transaction. So here you can define free code. If you see on the first screen, there is a free code available. 
uh, you click on the right hand side which is highlighted you click there and then once you click here it will you can you can code your con code your uh, rule here it is just a sample code so don't go with the with the validity of this code this is just an example being written to to show you if you see here on the left hand in the in the top screen rule maintenance we have identifier we have rules event based rule and then we have a condition uh, field based rules what where are we now so we are quite ahead in the journey this is the 14th video which you are watching so if you see the series we have covered 1 to 14 and there are several topics including some basics in five videos and then AIF, central payment, mappings, non-SAP system integration, reconciliation reports, what is replicated, what is not replicated, deletion of initial load and filters in SLT. We have covered till now. Of course, I will up, keep on up growing this table uh, with my experience and of course, feel free to share your experience as well as your questions so that we keep on going ahead in this journey of learning don't forget to sh share the channel subscribe the channel keep liking the videos keep sharing your experience keep sharing your the comments and of course please guide the guide your peers and colleagues to subscribe the channel and learn central finance digitally no cost sitting at home with fun thank you